Hi year four. So this video is just me explaining time using my trusty clock. So all this video is going to be is just me explaining time to the nearest um, five minutes. So it's just a bit of an add on to our maths lesson that I filmed for today. So if you need to just, right, I've got my clock here. Hopefully you'll be able to see it without too much reflection. So the time is eight o'clock. Let me just make sure I move it the right way. Whoops. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to go through a whole hour with you um, in intervals of five. So you could probably see on the clock I've got, um, <laughs> it's really hard, past and two. And I've got intervals of five in the circle there. So that will help us um, tell the time. So you can join along with me, shout out the answers with me. And let's go. So it's eight o'clock. And oops, we already know that there are 60 um, minutes in one hour. So I'm going to do one whole hour. So there we go. It's eight o'clock. Now it's five minutes past eight, 10 past eight. This is 15 minutes past eight, or I could say it's quarter past eight because it's quarter of the hour, 20 past eight. 25 past 8, 30 minutes past 8, or we generally say half past 8 because it's half of the hour. Then we've got 35 minutes past 8 because it's gone 35 minutes past 8, which was the hour. Or you can say it's 25 to 9 because it's 25 minutes until 9 o'clock. So if I count up, I just need to double check that it's 25. If I start with my 7, and I count in intervals of five until I get to my next hour. So we've got five. Oh, I'm going to move my hand. 10, 15, ooh, 20, 25. Oh, too far. Um, oh, I didn't count that right, did I at all? Hang on a minute. Silly, Miss Law. So <laughs> let's do it again. I'm trying to, I think I'm focusing too much on where I'm putting my finger. So count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20. 25 minutes to nine o'clock. I think I did do that, right? I got very confused where I was putting my finger and I think I was focusing more on that and what I was actually saying. So it is 25 minutes to nine o'clock. And if I move five minutes on, I could say that is 40 minutes past eight, or I can say it's 20 minutes to nine. So it's 20 minutes until nine o'clock. Then this one would be either 45 minutes past eight or it would be 15 minutes to nine. So we can see that this is quarter to nine. Next one would be 50 minutes past eight or 10 to nine, 10 minutes until nine o'clock. Then this one is 55 minutes past eight or five to nine. And then it's nine o'clock and that's one whole hour. Now you might just be thinking about what these little lines in between each number is. Tomorrow's lesson will be um, telling the time to the nearest minute. So I'll explain that a little bit more tomorrow, but they are my minutes. So it'd be like one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minutes. Okay. And that is, um, I'll go through that a bit more tomorrow. So I hope that um, helps you a little bit. If you are still really confused, don't hesitate to drop me an email and I can see what I can do to support you um, a little bit further. So have fun at doing the um, maths worksheet and I'll check in with you later. Bye year four.